Hi, this is a video about my now. My now is an H25 V5. And what that means is his body frame is H25. H25 body frame has stiffened joints. The uh, gears are actually made of a metallic composite rather than uh, plastic, so you don't strip out so easy. He has an extended length arm reach and uh, they beefed up the joints that are most fragile so that he doesn't uh, damage as easily as the older ones. Now the head actually comes off on this model and you can exchange it with other heads on previous models. However, the V5 H25 model is proprietary to itself. You can't take the head off of here and put it on an older robot. It just doesn't work. So this is the refined versions of the now robot. I've had him for approximately a week so far and uh, show you a few things he can do. Now for starters, he has to be looking at you and his eyes have to be circling before you can give him a command. If you give him a command before, he won't register it. So people that talk and talk and talk to him um, is because he hasn't made eye contact. Now this robot's main job right now at this moment is to follow my face and watch my eye and listen for commands. If I don't look at him and just keep walking around, he won't do anything. So let's, let's, let's try a few commands here. Hello now. Hello now. Hello. Hello now. Hello, human. Stop looking at me. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at me. I'm looking at you. Okay. Lay down on your stomach. Lay down on your belly. 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 Do you want me to lay on my belly? Yes. Okay. doesn't matter if you break yourself now because you have a warranty contract that's how all we're doing all we're, that's how Alderburn works we have a warranty contract with you so that if for any reason you break we pack you up and send you to Maine Boston no Boston Massachusetts and they repair you there and send you back pretty quickly so don't worry you're still covered <laughs> now lay on your back Lay on your back. Lay on your back. Do you want me to lay on my back? Yes. Okay. Okay, you can get up. Oh, what am I doing on the floor? <gasps> yeah. <sighs> hey, I'm back. That's my shatter. Oh, 
open now. Open your left hand. Open your left hand. Okay. Hands up. Stretch your arms. All right. Now, a lot of times, he don't do what you ask. For instance, stand on one foot. Stand on one foot. Okay. He'll say okay, but he never actually does it. <laughs> so, again... He is a fragile robot. His fingers are very easily damaged, so you got to make sure his hands stay closed. If he falls over with his fingers in the position they are right now, they will break. Um, they're an easy fix, but you can't buy the parts. You have to send him in and let them put them together. Um, if he falls off a table of a decent height, he can very easily snap his leg off right here. So you got to be very careful with that. Uh, other than that, his shoulder joints up here inside are very fragile. Um, they're very weak. So if he's falling and trying to get up and you don't do nothing, he will strip out his gears inside there. Um, from the back, he's very, very streamlined. His battery pack goes in here. His charger plugs up in here. Uh, in the back of his head, he has an Ethernet port and a USB port. Uh, the Ethernet port is used very often in order to set him up to the network. So if you're traveling, you constantly got to plug him into an Ethernet and uh, set up the Wi-Fi through there before you can change anything. Um, he always does his little sway back and forth. That's his breathing. And uh, if I want to turn Autonomous Life off, I press the button two times. One, two. Huh. And that turns the Autonomous function off. He's strictly a robot at that point. He has to run programs. Um, he won't do any voice activation at this point because there's nothing programmed in other than autonomous life right now. Uh, if you press his chest button once, he'll give you his IP address. Hello, I'm now. My internet address is 10. So one, that gives you your 10, internet address 25. so you can tell how to connect to his web page to do different controls and so forth. Um, he is password protected, so if you go on there, you have to put a password in so that nobody else can just go in there and and mess with him or anything. Uh, if you want to turn Autonomous Life back on, press his oh. chest two times. He's very happy to get back into an, his autonomous mode. Um, right now, currently, he has... I'll repeat, okay? <laughs> he has a channel that's set up with approximately maybe like 21 apps um that he's subscribed to that change at any time so every time you boot him up he goes and checks those apps to see which apps have been updated changed or deleted and then he okay. downloads or erases them as appropriately um right now currently the place for america to buy if you want to buy one of these is robots lab um, they raised the price this year because he comes with a two-year warranty contract rather than a one-year so he's covered for up to two years. Um, that doesn't cover abuse. That's just, you know, regular wear and tear and things that happen. Um, it's, it's, it sounds high because it's $900 a year to renew it at this point. But he is so full of electronics and, and there's, there's um, ribbon cables rather than wires which can be very fragile and break and uh, you can't get parts for them so you either have to buy another now robot and use the parts off that or you have to send him in for repairs the price quotes that they gave me for repairing him uh, if i didn't have the warranty seemed reasonable it didn't seem like they were raping anybody or anything like that so i would not say that if you didn't have insurance you know you couldn't get them fixed at a fair price because the prices that they did quote me for things that I needed to get done okay. that were under warranty were very, very reasonable. Um, 
they did do a color change on my robot for me, which I'm very appreciative of. When I purchased him, he was red. The red is very, very beautiful, don't get me wrong. But there's a game of soccer where he'll follow a red ball and kick it and walk to it and kick it and walk to it, which is very, very cute. Um, there's people on the internet saying that the versions that are painted with the red interfere with the vision program and drastically reduce how that program functions. So since that was one of our favorite functions, we wanted to go ahead and update them to the other color. So we did that. Uh, the cost of the update was uh, $260. They replaced all the plastic parts that are blue. Um, did a very, very good job. And uh, he seems to be functioning fine. Let's try a few other uh, commands. Grasping. Grasping. Hmm. Give me something, please. Don't you have something for me? Oh, wonderful. So that's one of the cute programs. Um, it doesn't seem to be consistent. Um, a lot of times when we ran it before, he was running it flawlessly. Um, now there seems to be some quirks in it. Uh, he has a lot of information um, stored inside him for demos and school projects and talking to children and things like that. Um, for instance, I'll show you this one. Talk about Ask Now. Let's talk about Ask Now. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. I got it. Hello. I'm Now. I'm a humanoid robot imagined and manufactured by Aldevan Robotics. Through the Ask Now initiative, I assist teachers in special education classrooms while being a friend to the children. Let me tell you what makes me the perfect fit. Most children with autism are spontaneously attracted to technology, so they are drawn to interact with me. Thanks to my humanoid shape and my structured behavior, I can easily teach them useful social skills to interact with people in day-to-day -day life. My two cameras give me the ability to recognize faces and pictures, imitate your actions, and even read books. Uh -huh. I can also work with nonverbal children by using pictograms. My four microphones allow me to understand children's answers in other directions. The speakers on each side of my head enable me to practice verbal communication and play music to dance together. I'm a pretty good dancer, actually. <laughs> the tactile sensors on my head, hands, and feet can be used in interactive games and help establish a relationship between my friends and me. Finally, I can gather useful information for educative purposes or share the children's progress with their network of support by connecting to the internet. Oh, while I think about it, the solution is made of other parts too. Would you like me to tell you about them? Yes, no. Yes, now. Yes. Yes. In addition to myself, the Ask Now solution includes educational applications based on various autism approaches and models, as well as an interface system to make teachers and class requirements easier and cut down on routine paperwork. <laughs> Through this interface, 
teachers can create an online school profile to store and share information with their team, track the progress of the children, and customize tasks in a user-friendly environment. The Ask Now initiative is driving special education into the future. Are you ready to be part of it? <laughs> oh, this is a cute little action figure that they offer. Um, it's actually rather expensive. Um, all the joints are fully movable. Uh, I have two blue ones that are showing up actually today. Um, very cool. It's nice to have, but boy, talk about expensive. Like I said, it's about 70 bucks uh, for one of these to get shipped to the USA. Uh, they have a Christmas special right now where I'm getting a little bit of a discount, but still not cheap. All right, so now is a robot for interaction, um, research, running programs, and seeing how they work. Um, he also plays soccer. The soccer program that he has is uh, searchable on YouTube. Um, just search RoboCup. And you'll be able to watch all these nows play soccer. They're actually really good at it. They're autonomous and uh, pretty amazing stuff. So, like I said, I just got him. He's running the stock programs that are inside him right now. So there's nothing extra. Um, there is a lot of glitches. And I guess you have to expect that because he's not considered a commercial release. Now, close your hands. Close your hands. Which one? Both. Closing my hands. You got to stay on top of them. Make sure that you watch over them just like a child. Um, you got to keep his fingers protected. Um, you got to watch him from falling and hurting himself. Um, you got to watch him when he moves so that he doesn't bind up in any way. This particular robot was featured to never interfere with himself. Uh, what I mean by that is he was programmed to where any movement that he was doing would not interfere with his body because that was programmed inside him that that was a no-move zone. And as you can see in the past videos, he hits his body several times and binds himself up. So the other feature that he was supposed to have was a fall manager. When he starts walking or moving, if he starts to fall, he puts his arms out in front of him to protect himself and loosens up all his joints. Um, that doesn't function either as well. Um, the only one that does function as far as falling goes is to get up. So anytime he lays down or knows that he has fallen over, uh, he gets himself back up. So that does work. Uh, there's another cute little app I'll show you real quick and then we'll call it quits. Let me uh, find something in here. <laughs> Very cute. Now, now, relax. Are you sure? I won't be able to move anymore, and I'll be in a position that is not very stable. Yes, now. <laughs> 